This bag is literally covering my face. This ain't gonna work. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am excited because I'm filming my first haul and I have been talking about this forever. I've been hitting about it. I know y'all tired of hearing about it. I'm not gonna do a big long intro because I know y'all wanna see the products as much as I do. So let's get started. So I am sitting in the parking lot at Ulta. Today was the first day that I went back to work since March and i've offered to go in and my boss is always just like oh no i got it stay home don't worry about it what is this hair doing and uh she's finally getting overwhelmed and so today i pretty much i had something else to do and i pretty much was just like hey i'm coming in i'm in the parking lot of ulta because it's literally like five minutes from work and after going through my collection i want to have more stuff drugstore in my collection so i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna keep my hands in my pockets i'm not swatching i'm only touching stuff that i'm gonna buy and see what they have i have not been in an ulta yet i've been to one sephora and they were like super strict about what we could do couldn't touch stuff um they were actually handing out masks and i thought it was pretty cool Do not touch. I have not seen this in person yet. No, not interested. Go where you're supposed to be, Barbara. I heard this dew primer is supposed to be similar to the gripping primers that I love. Okay, I have Maybelline foundation. I have powder and do I have a concealer? Yes, I have concealer, so good on that. Got brows, have mascaras. Y'all, this bronzer right here, so I thought this was limited edition and it is not. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I have one at home. I'm thinking about getting another one, but I need this to be on sale. <laughs> So we gonna wait, I have one. I don't need to buy a backup at full price. That's ridiculous. LA girl. I heard the Pro Mastery palette was pretty good. I think um, Tina was talking about these. I don't know how much these are. Ooh, that's sixteen dollars for LA girl. Y'all tripping, guys? I don't even understand. I'm gonna think about it. So I did find this banana powder that I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna try. And a martini. It's 250. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. This bag is a little ridiculous. This is a keepsake bag that I got from Sephora, but y'all, it is full of stuff that I have gotten. Honestly, I think it's been like over the past couple months. It wasn't originally meant to be a haul, but then I ordered a bunch of stuff at one time and I was like, okay, well, now you might as well just save it and do a haul. So here we go. I'm gonna start with the stuff I have on the desk first. And I ain't gonna lie, all this stuff is makeup except for one thing, two things. So first thing, I order off of Amazon. Now, I found out about this it is an essential oil for a diffuser, but the thing is the essential. This is called Santal 
and this smells amazing. If you've ever smelled Centol 33, then you know what this smells like. Now, I heard about this scent from probably the Glam Twins. Pretty much anything they recommend scent-wise, I want it. That's how I found out about Sweater Weather. This smells just so sexy and expensive, and I, I don't even know how else to describe it. I want my whole house to smell like this, but the perfume, okay, so they have a fragrance, right? And I Google it, Nordstrom's, $200 for, I think, one fluid ounce. I'm going to put a picture of it. Y'all, expensive. I ha I'm not there yet, yet. But it's a unisex, so men can wear it, women can wear it, but it smells good, and this smells like it, so my house smells like this. Next, I have nails. Um... I just really started getting into nails because I'm not training as heavy and so they can last a little while longer. Um, I got these, I ordered from a brand called Marmalade, Marmalade, whatever. And this one is called Moonlight. And as you can see, it's this pretty iridescent kind of bluish purple. This one is called Aurora. Again, more purple, but with a little blue i like the multi-chrome something different that i can't paint i don't really paint my nails because they are extremely soft and when i paint them they chip within a couple days so it's totally pointless so i will always put on if i want my nails to look halfway decent for more than a couple days i'll put on press-ons or glue-ons and then i have these these are like foiled i can't wait to wear these these are also by Marmalade, and they are called Sorcery. So that is the only two products I have that are not beauty, that are not <laughs> makeup related. The reason I had to wait to film this was because of this. Pat McGrath had a 20% off sale I try to only buy her stuff when I can get it on sale. I'm sorry, I love it, but it's just, it's so expensive and any chance I have to save money, I will. This first small palette is one of her Blitz Astral Quads and it's called, oh Lord, here we go with Barbara and these names. Oh, it's on the box, Nocturnal Nirvana. So here are the colors. Hi. Sorry, I need to hold this up for y'all. Blue, purple, and then this kind of greenish. Oh, if I would have opened this earlier, it would have been good with this eye look. There's so much stuff in this bag that I want to play with. I have never in my life ordered makeup and then just put it in a bag and not played with it. So y'all better understand and appreciate the love I have saving this because now I'm just like, I have so many looks I want to do and so much stuff I want to test. This other Pat McGrath palette, I think I looked at this one before and then I decided not to get it because I was like, mm, I'm not going to really wear those colors because I was on this neutral kit. And now, as you can see, your girl wears any and everything. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership 3 Subversive, the one I've been talking about and naming wrong in all my other videos. I showed, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw a glimpse of this. So those are the colors. Very pretty. The next thing I got, um, this mixing medium I actually saw on one of Pat McGrath's tutorials where they used it to make her special shades literally look like wet metal. And it's a mixing medium. It's Meron mixing medium. And so you mix this with your eyeshadows to help them look more foiled. So I've never used this before, but if Pat McGrath says to use it, I'm gonna try it. So I saw that on that video. That is the bad thing about being at home. You have too much time on your hands. I saw it on the, on the video went clicked out the video went to amazon ordered it then went right back to the video story of my life the next thing i ordered was dose of colors i've been wanting to try their foundation and their concealer it's the meet your hue um 
But of course, I like I said, I try to wait for a sale for everything. So for the foundation, I got the shade 129 Dark. I don't think this is my shade. Y'all, I suck at picking shades online. I've ordered like three or four foundations this summer trying to find lighter ones. I just need to go ahead and get a tan because I'm tired of trying to get light foundations that don't match me. I can't open it. Okay, there we go. Trying to get light foundations that don't match me. And then they look ashy. Um, so I think, what is the problem? What is the problem? I think this is going to be a little, I don't know. 129 dark. Has a pump. Glass bottle. Let me see. I think I like might have tried a sample of this because it came with sample packs and I felt like it was going to be too light. See, this ain't me. I hope this oxidizes. We'll see as the video goes on. <laughs> the bad thing, y'all, is this is probably my color, but so much I want to be dark. So this is what it looks like. That's probably my color. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. We're going to let this sit, let it dry down and see if it oxidizes. But if you look at it from here to here, I don't even know if you can tell, but it doesn't look like my color. So I don't know, too much of a hassle to send it back. So I'm not going to, I'm keeping all of this stuff and I'll just make it work. The next thing is this concealer and this is number 21 dark y'all. This is too light, it is too light, it is too pink. I don't know how I did that, but Y'all know me, we gonna make it work because I bought it. So I don't know when I'm gonna try it because I have other concealers in the drawer that I haven't tried yet, but I may just use them together. That's probably the best thing to do, we'll see. The next thing, okay, so when I said I needed drugstore stuff, this is one of the things that I picked up. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. And y'all know I like to sit under my eyes, I like to bake and the powder, okay, I ain't gonna lie. I tried to do a matte glam look and I had a powder. It is the hard candy, Bake and Brighten or whatever the name of it is, utter trash. I looked about 60 under the eyes, wrinkles, fine lines. It accented every single pore. It was just so bad. Like I looked like the desert hit my face. So I dumped all the footage, trashed it, and I'm just gonna do it over. So that's why I got that. Um, I also mentioned this bronzer to you guys. This is the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Bronze It. Now this on top does have some shimmer on it, but you can't really see it when you put it on your face. It just gives you a nice sheen. This is one of my favorite bronzers. And I have, like I said, I have a backup of this. I remember saying like, I already have a backup, so I don't need to get another one. And then completely forgot I had already ordered it on Amazon. That's how you get in trouble. So now I have two, but whatever. I had to make sure for you guys, I had to make sure that this was actually still in stock. I also picked up, oh, see, this would have looked good with my look too. Y'all better know I love y'all. This is an e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow in the color Dirty Martini. I picked this up at Ulta, it was on sale. So I was like, it's on sale, I mean, you might as well get it. Um, if I can open it, I'll swatch it for you guys. This would have looked good with this look, but why do you make these boxes so hard to open? Try not to make this video be 50 years long. Okay, let's see. How this little bitty thing came out this long? You see how they get you? Y'all wrong for that. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Oh my God. I need this all over my lid. Y'all look how pretty this is. That would have been so cute with this. Okay, this is, no, it's not. It's going to come up soon. I can't put it in my soft glam look at that glitter and it's green love it i also picked up this i actually ordered this on amazon because it was a lot cheaper than it was in the store love me some amazon this is the l'oreal 
Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Skin Care Primer. Now, I got this one specifically because Nakia Joy, who I've mentioned before, oily skin, but she loves the Tatcha primer and they have a putty primer, but then they came out with a liquid version of the putty primer. And she said that this was a complete dupe. So the liquid primer is like $52. This was like $12. I like $12. So if this is a dupe, I don't need to buy the $52 one. I will gladly use this one. Also for my drugstore videos, I did not realize how little drugstore stuff I have. I think I mentioned this before. I decided to grab a few things just to kind of help because I want to be able to show you guys looks and show you how it looks with the actual options that I'm recommending. So if I use a color and I say this color is a dupe, if you have this palette, but then I can't show it to you, you know, it makes it kind of hard. So this just makes it easy. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is a very popular palette. I actually have two high-end singles of this blue-brown kind of color here. So it will be really good whenever I do that. I might do one half drugstore, one side high-end. All these ideas, I should have wrote this down. But anyway, this would be a good palette. I've had it before. It expired, so I got it again. And I also ordered, because I wanted to be able to do a neutral soft glam look, this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And this is the New Classics eyeshadow palette. I actually saw Tati do a video with this one. And I've been looking at these bigger palettes by e.l.f., but I didn't pick one up yet. And since I realized I don't have any neutral drugstore eyeshadow palettes, I was like, oh, well, this one will be perfect to get. Just has some cute colors. So you guys will see that. And then <laughs> I wanted to get another palette. So this is not the last palette either. Um, I saw this palette in Ulta and I heard from the Fancy Face Tina about this palette. And so I was like, well, let me get it. It actually reminded me of someone that I talk to pretty frequently about makeup and hair and everything else. So I was like, let me get this and see what the pigment's like on these shadows since I've never tried it. This is the LA Girl Pro Mastery Eyeshadow Palette. So it kind of has that warm, modern renaissance vibe, but I think it'll be really, really cute. So now we have options. I need options, always. Oh, one more thing from Dose of Colors that I got. Um, this eyeshadow palette was on sale plus the 30% off. So in my mind, I mean, it's a no brainer, right? This is the I Love Sarai times Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. I just thought this looked really fun. And of course, this color down here in the middle, always, it's called Palma. Always this kind of color speaks to me. But looking at it, I was like, you know, I could probably like do just a whole eyeshadow look with this palette. That glitter in that dark color looks like it's chunky enough that it'll fall out, but we'll see. I told y'all I got this. <laughs> Uh, can, okay, the fact that I bought this like a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't know, and that I haven't even swatched it because I was waiting to share with you. I did take a picture of it, but I haven't touched it. I cannot wait to do a look with this. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Beautiful color, Barbara and her bronze. Oh, I cannot wait to use. I know I'm going to say cannot wait probably like 50 times. Okay, I'm showing this. I know you can't get it anymore and I'm sorry. But I have to show it because I am excited that I got it. I've been waiting on this palette for over a year. And it was supposed to come out like beginning of the year or around March or something. And then it got pushed back with COVID. This is the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. This was so popular like a year or more ago. I don't know. And then went out of stock and 
I went to go look for it and somebody was selling it on Macari for like 60 bucks. I almost bought it just to say I had it and because of the colors. This would have made my look today. Absolutely beautiful. And I didn't want to use it until I had a chance to be able to show it to you guys first. So I guess I can't use it on camera since y'all don't have it. But honestly, I want to compare this to the palette that I used today, the um, Juvia's Place Tribe palette and see, because I think I've seen in other videos that there are dupes or colors that are similar. A dupe is a duplicate. Um, colors that are similar, so might be able to create the same look or piece a couple palettes together. I don't know. I'll play with it and let y'all know. My Sephora order with the Natasha Denona palette, I also ordered this Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation, and I got the color Cinnamon. I am pretty sure this is going to match me. Now this color is drying down and it looks like my shade. So I'm probably tripping that dose of colors foundation will definitely work for my winter shade. Bro, they make this stuff so hard to open. This is what it looks like. Ooh, this is really liquidy. See, this one's a little more neutral. Yeah, now this is the kind of color that I like. This is the tone that I like. I really like that shade. I hope you can see the difference on there, but I love this. So that one is gonna match. And I got these foundations because they are not as mattifying as some of the other ones that I have. So hopefully I won't have to worry when my face is super, super dry. I'll be able to wear these and it won't look crazy. This palette, this is the Manny MUA Strawberry Dreams palette from Lunar Beauty. Yo, I think I looked at this a long time ago when it first came out and I was like, ooh, that's cute. Reds, you know, burgundies, love those colors. And then this shade up here, I'm going to swatch for y'all. It is actually, it shows white, but when you swatch it, the iridescence to it has a blue undertone to it and y'all know how I love like multi-chromal kind of colors I don't know if that's showing or not I can't tell it's a bluish kind of silver really pretty and I was like I really like how that looks and that would be a beautiful topper but then the palette's like 50 bucks and I was I'm not gonna spend 50 dollars for one color because I felt like all the other colors I could find in my other palettes and then when Sephora opened back up, I went in to go exchange something and this was on sale for $29. So I was thinking about it. And then when I got to the register, the sales associate was like, hey, you know, since we're just opening up and we know customers have been inconvenienced, not being able to come in, anything else you buy in the store today is 10% off. Man, would you mind holding my stuff and let me go look around again just in case there was something I was thinking about and now I know I want to get it? So I went back and got that palette because I got another 10% off. Now the last three items. These are, oh no, one more and then I'll get to the last three. I mentioned this in the comments because y'all know how I love my wing liner and I love liquid liner. I heard about this one and I went out to get it as soon as I could find it. This is the Milani Tank. This is a felt liner. I prefer brushes, but from what I've seen on reviews, this one, the liquid comes out really fast and it never like runs out. A lot of time with felt, like I feel like it'll start off and then it'll kind of start skipping. So that's why I like a brush better. It's a more even application and it's smooth. But this one I've actually heard some people say that they don't like it because it comes out too fast, which well, I don't have a problem with that. I don't think I'll find out. Also, this is supposed to be long wear, waterproof, smudge proof, sweat proof, transfer proof. If this ends up being my Holy Grail primer, I'm going to tell you all right now, I bought two of them already. And if I can make it work and it lasts like that, this may replace all my other liners. So I will keep you posted on this one. The last 
few things that I got. I have one more item. This was stuck under these last, not one more item, but one more non makeup related item. This was stuck under my other palettes. I bought these little combs. Um, like I said, I'm just getting into wigs and learning how to put them on. And so these are like the little baby hair combs. Cause I just have a big hard brush, but I figure if I ever decide to try to do baby hairs, they have this little comb and then this little brush, which is really firm. I got these, I think for like four bucks on Amazon. This is by the brand, ooh, uh-uh, Kitsch Pro, K-I-T-S-C-H, dual edge brush and comb. So two in the pack, I will let y'all know whenever I use them. Okay, last three things are all from the crayon case. Now, I had never heard of this brand until, a, was it a couple months? This is how long this stuff's been sitting. At least a month ago, I saw on Instagram that um, one of the makeup pages had posted that this was a brand that is now a million dollar brand owned by a black woman out of New Orleans. So supporting my home, my home state. And I had never heard of them, not in Sephora, not in any store. She just has her own business. Her Instagram is supacent, S-U-P-A, I think underscore C-E-N-T. Look how cute these makeup brushes are. Everything is like, it's school related. So crayons, crayon case, you have these little pencils. These are all eye pencils. I thought this was really cute, and now that y'all have seen it, I can open them. I showed this on my Instagram a long time ago, I know, so it's crazy that I've had it all this time and haven't used it. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this, when I first got it, I played with it a little bit just because I wanted to see the colors. This is the Watch Me Blush. This is an eyeshadow and blush palette. Y'all, I played with this. I had to. These colors are unreal. I put this blue on with a regular brush. Like I didn't even try to get a special brush. It looked like it was liquid. Automatic foil stuck to my eye immediately. No fallout, no nothing. I cannot wait to do a look with this. And you can get all this stuff still on her page. And then this is how long I've been asleep. This when I Googled it after I ordered it, Jeffree Star, who we ain't talking about, but just goes to show trifling. Um, he did a review on this two years ago. I think it has like 5 million views. It was Jeffree Star approved, but nowhere in his video did he say anything about the owner. Like he said, this is an indie brand, but he didn't say it was a woman. He didn't say it was a black woman. I'm kind of surprised he even reviewed it. Then I saw Aaliyah J also did a review and that had over a million or two million views. And I was like, how have I not seen this? But let me just show y'all, I'm running my mouth. Very pigmented. I saw a lot of the looks that they did and it was just incredible. So glad I found out about the brand. Glad that I was able to support them. I did get a couple of liners too. Um, I got a white eyeliner, which I've never used before, but I wanted to try it and a black eyeliner, but they also have like setting powders and a bunch of different other stuff. So I may check out some more stuff from them later. I can't put this back in. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm so glad I finally got to show you all of these things because I've been wanting to play for a while now and the bag's just been sitting there teasing me. So you are gonna see a lot of videos coming out with stuff mentioned. I'm excited. I don't think anything I ordered is gonna be a dud. I hope not, but we'll find out together. Comment down below and let me know which items you're the most excited about, what you wanna see first. Um, if you have any ideas for looks that you want me to do, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Remember, turn on your notification bell and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified every time that I upload. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked what I showed you because you girl got a lot of good stuff. I'm excited about it and I can't wait to show you. Thanks for tuning in for this video, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.